triple wide receiver flanked to the right side. That is complete. Then the lateral with it is Green. Down the sidelines, Green knocked out of bounds. Pollard lateral to Alex Green. And there were big possibilities up the far sideline. Robert C. of B. may have saved the touchdown. Uh, he did save the test. So it was a thing of beauty right here. So nicely done. I thought he almost was down there with his knee, but he was up. Green coming over. Nice timing. Just great acceleration to get out. Green has just a, a really good ability to accelerate in a vertical fashion. He just so goes for it. So Hawaii on the doorstep again. The officials will meet yet another time. Are they gonna? I think Coach Aki's wondering whether or not the player was down when Paul had caught the ball, whether he had his knee on the ground. We'll see. Can't exactly lip read up here. Idaho is challenging the ruling on the field that the ball carrier went down to a knee and therefore was down by contact. The initial ball carrier. Yeah. Very good at the way you can discern things that happen, sir. <laughs> I don't know. I'm wearing my glasses right now, James. Here we go. He catches the ball, and I, it, let's just see if his knee is down or not, because it looked that way to me initially. And I would say, based on that picture right there, they're going to say he was down. Well, he's bobbling it, and then he comes up. So we'll see whether or not they determine he had control. Because he doesn't quite have it. Well, it's going to be a close call. What do you think? This will take a long time. This will take a long time. That's their Many facets to this, but this uh, this turning of the corner by Green, yep, is of particular interest. Good job. But there's no question Pollard was down on a knee. The question is whether or not he had possession of the ball while his knee was down, or whether he didn't really quite have. As you see him bobbling, and his knee came up, and as he came up, and then he did the lateral. They may rule it that he was okay, because he he didn't have. You know, they, so many times you see those calls on the sides when they say receivers bobbled it, even though it looks like a catch, and they never give it to him. You know, in that particular case, he was sort of bobbling it as he came up and then lateraled off to Alex Green. Hawaii has gone deep into their playbook. They've used some addendums to the playbook. Well, I thought that was a kind of a nice, yeah. a nice call. Uh, I don't think I've seen that play all year, and I've seen every snap. So, take another look here. Pollard, there his his knee is just out of the bottom of the frame. Yeah, it's down, but see, he doesn't really have possession of the ball. Now as he goes, he seeks to get possession, he's up. Although we don't see his picture, and then he laterals off. I think it's homecoming. I think the call should come our way. <laughs> yeah, why not? But I think Coach Aki was also very smart to challenge that. It's pretty close. And what he doesn't want to have happen is exactly what is happening, and that is Hawaii marching right down the field with a 31 to 3 lead starting the third quarter. Remember I said it was going to take some time. You were right. Here we go. He's still talking. To no, somebody. still talking. Yeah. It's close. So I think he's bobbling the ball. His knee is not quite down. That would be one of the reasons he's I mean, down it, here but he doesn't have possession. Yeah. He starts to reach possession as he does his knee comes up. Let's see. They have to have enough to turn it over in the original call. Right. So they are still looking at it. Interesting. You called this one, James. You said it would take a long time. Long time. Perhaps I'm being too quick in my judgment. Well, the thing is that uh, some officials over the course of a game, especially a Hawaii game, because there's there's many passes, you know, to look at. Uh, the referees know each other by their first name when they walk off the field, and they yeah. may not know each other when the, when they report, you know, as a member of the staff. This is much too long. Come on. Yeah, this should be. We'll see. I don't like it. He looks like he's pointing back to where the receiver was, but we're going to move. After back. review, the Hawaii player caught the ball with a knee on the ground at the 31-yard line. 
The ball will be placed at the 31 yard line, second down and seven. So Idaho said, will not be charged with the timeout. Well, obviously, we disagree with that call. But, you know, I guess they, they thought he had possession enough with his knee on. Why did it take that long? If you make a decision like that, why did it take that long? Because, well, I think precisely because Royce was, Royce Pollard was bobbling the ball. And I think the question was whether or not they thought he had possession with his knee still down. And they obviously went for that. This is one of those times when you see the call overturned. So, still, nonetheless, Hawaii with good momentum. We'll see if that break now stop, hopefully doesn't stop it. They have it at the 31, and now our our replay in our trucks say the ball should be at the 36. Yeah. But don't tell anybody. After all, it is homecoming. 